This video explains the process of determining the order of a reaction. Equipments needed are LabQuest and colorimeter from Vernier, graduated dropper pipettes, barrel pipettes, 50 ml beakers, cuvette for the colorimeter, three way pipette bulb for measuring and transferring reagents. Chemicals needed are 0.02 molar iron 3 solution 0.02 molar iodide ion solution and distilled water for dilution first we will calibrate the colorimeter select the wavelength in this case it is 470 nanometers if not already selected use the left and right arrows to select the correct wavelength to calibrate, we will use the 0.02 molar iron 3 solution as the blank. Fill the cuvette 3 fourth with the iron 3 solution, close the cuvette, place it in the colorimeter, such that the clear side of the cuvette faces the white triangle on the colorimeter. Close the colorimeter, press calibrate, wait until the red light stops blinking, now the colorimeter is calibrated and you can perform your experiment. After calibration, the reading on the lab quest for absorbance will be zero. Setting up the sensor, in this case the colorimeter. Select, Sensor, Data Collection. Choose mode, to be time based. Rate is set at one sample per second. Interval is set at one second per sample and the duration of data collection is set to 200 seconds which is the default setting. Now you are ready for data collection. 3 sets of solutions are needed, to perform 3 runs. Prepare the solution, and perform the data collection, one at a time. Run 1. Pipette out, 10 ml of iron 3 solution, into the beaker, followed by 10 ml of potassium iodide, into the same beaker. Keep the time consistent, between mixing of the two solutions, and data collection on the lab quest, for all three runs. Mix the two solutions properly, using either a glass rod, or the barrel pipette. Transfer the solution, to a clean cuvette using the barrel pipette. Place the closed cuvette, in the colorimeter as described earlier. Close the colorimeter. Now select the play button on the lab quest to start data collection. The data collection will be complete at the end of 200 seconds. This will give you the data for the first run. To collect data from run 2, just click the file cabinet icon on the top right corner. Now repeat the experiment, for the different runs. Prepare solutions, using the data on table 1. Data Analysis After you have collected all three sets of data, from the three trials, which is represented here by run 1, run 2, and run 3, you are ready for data analysis. In order to determine the rate of a reaction, for a 30 second segment, we will first select, a region on the graph as shown. On the lower right corner, time is displayed in seconds. You can use this as a guideline for the time segment. Here, we have chosen a 30 second segment starting from 50 seconds to 80 seconds. Now select, analyze, followed by curve fit, and absorbance. From the drop down menu, select linear. This will give you, the slope of the tangent. In this case, the value of m, or slope, or rate of reaction is equal to 0 0.0019723. Record this data on your data table under run 3. Now select OK. Next, select Run 2, 
and repeat the steps. Do the same for run 1. Make sure you record the value of the slope m in your data table for all the three runs on your data sheet. Using the data collected, you can determine the order of the reaction, just as you would in the initial rate method problems.